this is my IBM PC. It's a 5150. It's the original PC. Now, one of the interesting things about this is it has a monochrome display adapter and it's connected to an IBM 5151 green monitor. Now this green monitor has a high persistence phosphor, which means it leaves an afterglow behind it. Now I was wondering about that digital rain effect from the matrix, the one where the characters kind of scroll down the screen. Now whenever you see that, it's always on a modern device and the, the trails that the characters behind look like they're, they're meant to be um, simulating this kind of afterglow from one of these old green screen monitors. So I wondered what it would look like if you actually ran something like that without the afterglow in software, but run it on one of these old PCs. Um, so this is what the afterglow looks like. You can kind of see it as this text scrolls up. You see there's a, there's a fade behind it. So I wrote a little program that does the matrix digital rain effect, but doesn't do any kind of trails. I just want to leave that to the monitor. Well, this is what it looks like if you run it in an emulator. So you can see there are no trails. It's just a very simple effect. The characters just run down the screen. This is the PCJS emulator, by the way, by Jeff Parsons, which is pretty cool. So what does it look like if we run it on a real 5151? Let's find out. Okay, I've moved the camera and I've turned the lights down so you can see the effect a little bit better. I'm just gonna type out the listing for the assembler so you can get a better better feel for how much the afterglow really is there. It looks really cool, but I, I think this must have made the monitor very difficult to use. So let's run the same program now that we saw in the emulator and see how it looks. And there you have it. I think this looks remarkably similar to the original effect and all in less than 256 bytes of code on a 40 year old IBM PC. Thanks for watching.